Oh yeah, it's that time of the week. We got a lot of stuff lined up dropping this weekend. This is the Heat Check. Let's start the show. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this week actually kicked off pretty chill with the launch of the EXP X14 from Nike. But those of you that are aware of the shoe, you know that that name was actually the experimental name of Nike React before it launched. Nike Sportswear put that all together in a complete package with the new shoe, and these dropped today, and you can grab those for $120. All right, jumping ahead to tomorrow, we see some pretty dope releases to kick off the week for women. First up is the Nike Air Max 90 Slash 1. If you're wondering why it has that slash in the name, it's because it actually mixes the Air Max 90 and the Air Max 1. If you look at the upper and the midsole, you can see the two different shoes. These are dropping in two colorways. You can grab those for 140. If you are a fan of mostly black kicks, then you are in luck as Nike is set to release the Night Ops pack. This features the Air Max 90 and the Air Max 180, but the uppers have been blacked out with the exception of a touch of green on the logos. If you're familiar with the look of night vision goggles, this has a similar look to it where everything is mostly black, but the green pops out where the light shines. Technically, these accents are called Volt, not green, but you get the idea. The Air Max 190 will cost you 130, whereas the 180 will cost you 150. <laughs> One of the silhouettes that have been getting a little bit of love this year is the Nike Cortez. For the latest release from Nike Sportswear, they're doing a special release created by Maria Sharapova. The upper on these look really nice in that brown, and you can see that they also flipped the Nike swoosh on these to fit the design. This is obviously a women's release, and those will cost you $100. Quick fun fact, the Nike Cortez is actually a shoe that was created by Onitsuka Tiger back in the early 70s. All right, one of the biggest releases this weekend is the Adidas Ultra Boost 2.0 in the multicolor colorway. These were crazy popular when they first released a few years ago, and it looks like Adidas is bringing them back for all of us who were not able to secure a pair back then. They featured that boost outsole and that prime knit upper mixed with a bunch of different colors near the mid panel and the toe. Those will cost you 180 if you can get your hands on a pair. All right, speaking of big releases on the 24th, we have the release of the Nike Kobe AD. This is the new Kobe signature line now that he is no longer playing, and we first saw this model over at Drew League with DeMar DeRozan when he wore it on the court. The upper is definitely different than anything we've seen before with the Kobe line and features a full length booty that supports the ability to stay locked in as well as a zoom air unit for your explosiveness alongside engineered micro blades for the outsole. You can look for those to cost you $140 when they release on Friday, which isn't a bad price for a Kobe model. All right, for those of you that like the outdoors, Nike has an ACG pack that's dropping that includes a couple of different models. One of the favorites for me is the Dog Mountain ACG sneaker in the Summit White colorway. Definitely a style that we are not used to, but I like the look of it. Those will cost you $110 on Saturday. Coming up from Nike SB is the Dunk High collaboration with Premier. This one is being called Lotto as in lottery pick. That's because the swoosh is actually scratchable, if that makes any sense. Basically, the swoosh is going to rub off to reveal a different color, but if you're really lucky, you'll get one of the pairs that scratch is often features a Nike SB and Premier graphic that adds to the gold accents that are on the liner. Those will cost you 110. Now on the more expensive side of releases this weekend, we have the Nike Vapor Max Premier. This, as the name implies, is a Premier version of the Vapor Max that features a higher ankle as well as a strap that stretches across the ankle as well. From what I can tell, the upper on these is made of fly It looks like a little bit of leather there, and then they also have a magnetic enclosure to kind of keep you sealed in. An interesting look for sure, and those will cost you $225. Okay, now if you're a basketball fan, we have the Kyrie 4 Decades pack that's going to be releasing. Each model is going to cost you $120, and you can pick the model that's inspired by the 70s, the 80s, or the 90s, whichever you prefer, or all three maybe. All right, all right, rounding out the releases this week is the Jordan 5 International. Jordan Brand has been showing a lot of love for Jordan's trips overseas, and this Air Jordan 5 celebrates his trip in 1990 to Barcelona for a local Spanish league opener. In that game, Jordan had 37 points. This pair is actually inspired by the street art of Barcelona, and as a final touch, they've actually translated the hang tag into Spanish, which is pretty cool. You can look for those to cost you $190. All right, so that's going to do it for the show today. Make sure you check the links down below for more information on all the sneakers that I talked about or that I mentioned in this video. I am Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace.